welcome back everybody. Um, now that we're actually finished story mode, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, free play. And basically just, you know, fill all my canisters and whatnot. Now you can only select one of your own characters here and it will automatically select a bunch of you. Uh, sorry, a bunch of them, but, you know, to the rest. And it basically gives you everything you need. Of course, it skips all the cutscenes and whatnot, and you can actually switch characters at will, which is pretty cool. I did a lot of off-screen uh, stud grinding too. It's buying everything is uh, extremely expensive in this game. I've already gotten what's in here, but I'm gonna just get a few studs anyway. <laughs> well, this is the first part I didn't go into last time. You gotta rebuild this machine right here. Make it and stand on this pretty box. I'm occurring that takes forever to move. And here we have our first hidden canister. Come on, step on the no, step on your switch. partner is supposed to go and step on the other switch. There we go. Usually they're not that stupid. Now we already got the one by hitting the lovers up here, so we don't need to do that. about when you have to force pull something if it's not exactly all the way in place when you let go of the button it starts warping back. Jar Jar to get up here. Checking when you get to redo the level anyway. Let's start with the couldn't before. Is there a room that's pink? 
ship does and how the heck can go through a force field, I have no idea. Yeah, we get more studs for putting equipment back. Now this took me forever to figure out what you need to do is you actually need to get Jar Jar on this platform and your other guy will force pull you over here. Now here's what really pissed me off about this. So you need to open this grate right here, but you have to be in like just the right spot to pull it off the wall. Now this took me forever to figure out too. 